What's up, podcast people? We are back. Yeah, we are recording again. And guess what, y'all? Uh, yeah. You know, it's, I feel like it's a dedication thing. You feel me? I like the people. We love y'all. And we are here again. I just want to let y'all know that yesterday. No, no. Yeah, it was yesterday. We recorded a podcast, although it be late. Um, The audio got fucked up. And uh, we are back again to do another podcast. So today is <laughs> podcast recording day number two. Yeah, because we this still got to come insane. in soon again. But we're going to get this pod out for y'all because we know y'all enjoy these weekly podcasts. And um, let me take my watch off or fuck up. Come on. Recording. I have a backup recording recorder going on right now. And we ain't come to play, so. Audio, um, man. Yeah. Audio. This is an audio journey for the listeners out there. It is. I just want to let you know. Yeah. You are appreciated. You are we love. We appreciate you so much that we did it twice. Yes. Doing this twice, man. <laughs> you, got your mic, you got your mics? Uh, no, I don't. You left them home? I'm sober today. You yeah, were. I don't have a sty on his eye. He got booty juice it's on his eye. It's not a sty. Let's get into that early before. What uh, is a sty? What is a sty? I don't think this is a sty. I think this is just a bump right next to my eye. It's a sty, bro. It's large. How do you spell sty? Sty is on the eyelid. True. Right, I don't think a sty has a placement. Is it that because it's the place there? Sty. How do you spell it though? S T I Y S T Y E. S T Y E. Is it? Yeah. Sty on sty eye. I. It red. Oh, this isn't red. Yeah, Painful nah. lump near the edge of the eyelid. Oh. Okay. It may look like a boil or a pimple. A sty can it's near your eyelid though. After I uh, know, after the small glands that line the eyelid get plugged with what? With the juices. Um, Come get it. Come get some, you little bum. Face. Was that uh was that Jay Z's worst bar? Come get, get some, some, you, you little, little bum. bum. I got a lot <laughs> and you bacon. niggas got none. Isn't that what he said? I baked the cake and cut the bake or something. Wasn't it? Come get, get some, some, you, you little, little bum. bum. <laughs> we let Jay get away with some shit. But no. if you if you cook it for albums and albums, you can get away with some bullshit. There's that, not a lot of bullshit. That's how, um, that's how, well, wait a minute. What? Big Daddy Kane said it? That's his bar first. Oh, that was his bar, that was his bar first? Yeah. That was his first bar. Oh, so Jay Z must have said it a different way. I thought about that. Yeah. One. Okay. What oh, did that's Jay-Z what you say? thought. It. I, that's what. That's what Jay Z said. But at the second part, I. I we right, gotta skip on, to that. On, <laughs> on, <laughs> on, nigga on, about to play y'all the song, the whole joint. I'm trying to see where he said become get some you little, little bum. bum. Damn. I got a game tonight too. Just doing it all, man. Sometimes you ever just have a full last day and you just like, yo, this is a full day. That's what yesterday was. Yeah. Yes, that's what yesterday was. Like, you I know, some of them days where you just leave the house at 9 a.m. and you just know that you're not coming back until the other 9, 9 p.m. Jesus, from 9 to 9? From 9 to 9, yeah. It's crazy. Sometimes you make no money doing that, too. you just outside all day. Being outside all day, no, no money. money. <laughs> it's a little tough. It's a lot, man. It's a whole I'm lot. I'm old, you. Yeah, man. So, last line will find. Well, he's not gonna find the bar. I'm not gonna find yeah. it. I, you got the lyrics. It's on the la la la. I, I'm, I do, but I just typed in "Come get some, you little bum" on Apple Music, and it's not. How about you Google Jay Z? Come get some, you little bum. That's, <laughs> that's a lot, bro. <laughs> no, it's it. I'm a, trying it's to get to the part where. Jay Z, Jay Z got bars, man. Jay Z, that, that wasn't one of them. Real. No, that's not. That wasn't that's one not of them. Yeah. Why are you snitching? That's that's a snitch. Benny <laughs> <laughs> Siegel, Siegel be smoking, smoking weed. That, la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> that is telling, yo. That's telling. He's a that's snitch. Telling. He another ass snitch. Um, are plugged up. Oh, that's plugged up. Who did you ever want to be growing up? Real quick, that's plugged, plugged up over there. Oh, is that? Making sure it's plugged up. It's upside down. But it's plugged oh, up. Oh, is it plugged up? Check the camera and see if it's charging. Please. Why that bitch is upside down like that? It's charging. Check the camera. What were you doing? You no, I think it is charging. I just want to make sure. I don't know. The, bo- the top right. 
Somebody bought a, hang, uh, a TV hanger thing. Okay. Okay, cool. So, who did I want to be growing up? Yes. Rapper wise. Um, I just want to say, y'all, yesterday we cooked the episode. <laughs> we did. We had such a good episode. It's pretty good. We had such a good episode, man. It was and good. you know what? Fuck it. Who did I want to be growing up? Um, let's see. Check, check. Uh, okay. I wanted to be um I just wanna I just wanted to play that part. What? He said, that's gay. I ain't in the looking dudes There's no way. way. That's gay. Got it. Thank you, Jay Z. Thanks, Jay. Thanks for the information. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. <laughs> That's gay. Thanks, Ove. Um, <laughs> who did I want to be growing up? I wanted to be Nelly at one point. Did you see he got arrested for drugs and for uh, no ecstasy? Yeah, but he's about to have a child. Yeah, so I kind of get it a little bit. Yeah, I was, but ecstasy I might, is bad. I might fall into a little ex hole. Cause you know how they call it ketamine a K hole. <laughs> you you so try to make ecstasy up. is an X hole <laughs> to me. I might fall into a little ecstasy hole a little bit. You know what I just peeped? <laughs> Yesterday we potted no haircuts. And now we yeah, came it's in. Very came different. In. It's we a different vibe. Haircuts. But um, so he fell into an X hole. But I didn't know that ecstasy was illegal. Line of bad podcasting, y'all. Again. Become episode two. No, he said it different. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, t- he turned it into drugs. Yeah, he t- <laughs> Jay Z, good <laughs> can't get away from the drugs. <laughs> yeah, he had to make that bar. <laughs> Jay Z don't know how to stop See, talking about K drugs. Had a very innocent bar. Very innocent. He, he, was, he was talking about actual it's, kicks. It's funny listening to like old niggas rap because all they were rap about was like how much tougher they are. Yes, or how they'll beat somebody up, or just yeah. how cool they are, and and niggas. Was like we're gonna rap about selling drugs. drugs to the community. Yep, to the black community. Yep, Nelly cat hole. I mean, uh, X hole ecstasy. So Nelly fell into an ecstasy hole, uh, which I'm not mad at. Which I like. I said I didn't know that ecstasy was illegal. So now I'm a little lost. Um, yeah, it's not so about like you can't so, go into CVS yeah. and be like, can I get an ecstasy? Yeah, but I didn't can think I it was get like one ecstasy, please. No, I think you will probably need more than a one ecstasy. You think I think one? Is yeah, no, I no. think one is enough. We fat brother. though. You know, That's certain drugs. Sit in, I'm telling you, certain drugs sit in you differently. Like what? Like if you was a hundred, a hundred thirty pound man, you could probably take a half of ecstasy. <laughs> no, I think no, take a half of X. I think one ecstasy is fine for a fat person. No, I need one and a half to two. How would you even know? Because if I take one X and I'm like, I'm not feeling how they be talking about, you know, they'd be like, you be feeling so sexy and, you know, everything yeah, just flows. Yeah, What does the ecstasy feel like? I'm sure somebody listening my to this that took ecstasy, ecstasy before. Guys, don't look at my pants. They're dirty. Okay. I'm sure somebody listening that took ecstasy before. Um, if you took ecstasy, go ahead and do me a favor and comment Leave on comment. YouTube. Um, my name is so and so. I'm from so and so, and I took and I ecstasy. Took, took ecstasy. Yes. And this is how it made me feel. Yes. Or just put an X in the chat if you've done ecstasy. We don't need to know. But Aisha's calling me. Can you call Aisha? No. No. Okay, Aisha. Lana said he don't want to call you. He hates you. Jesus Christ. She's. What did she call? What is she? Uh... There we go. Call my friend. Yeah, she's your friend. She's my friend. Well, let me tell you about my best friend. She's a warm-hearted person who loves me to the end. Aisha's calling, y'all. She's not calling. We're calling. Yeah, we're calling we have a court. Yeah. Yes. yeah. What's up? Oh, God. Nothing. I was leaving the PayPal so I can pay the um, rent. Whenever y'all get done, let me know. All okay. right. Thanks. All right, bye. Real businessy of her. Yeah. So, guys, as you know, we have a studio that we're renting out. So, please. Yeah. The premier podcast Hello. studio in the city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia for sure. In the city of Philadelphia. Love the city of Philadelphia. Gotta love that. Gotta love it. What word did you make up yesterday? I don't know. So I just want to let y'all know today we're gonna be referring to yesterday. I don't so want to do that. That's so crazy. <laughs> we don't have. That's the thing that never existed. It, it didn't. And I deleted it the video. It never so. existed. It never even. It's, it's not even there. real. But I, I, I do want to. We could up be the lying to them. That you made up though. We could be lying to them. We could be lying to them. They don't even know. We could be like, yeah, we recorded yesterday. <laughs> Which is an interesting lie because how do they know? That's a good point. A great point. Great point. Great point. That is a good point. But I want to. We did record. We did record. We did record. We came. But there's no evidence of it. We came to this studio and sat here for two hours and potted like yeah. there was no tomorrow. 
Yeah, and it's going. Um, you we know, talked about a lot. We talked about. Um, I remember we talked about going to the Spank Bank. We did. We talked about the Sperm Bank. Bank. Sperm Bank, and that was a good segment, man. That was really good. So we on. just got to keep on going. Going. <laughs> Fucking. So are we referring back to that? Yeah, we can. <laughs> so it's, Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Welcome to another episode of Late Night with Lair, and Lionel. And we're here again. We're at the studio, guys. I think maybe that's why I deleted it. Because we well, did no intro at all yesterday. We did do an intro. Oh. Really late, though. Like, it was like 45 minutes in. Okay, cool. So we talked about going into um, the sperm bank, and I said, um, I'm not going to just say that I said. Um, I was wondering, when you go into the sperm bank, do you get a vibe in the sperm bank like or do they or do they i'm gonna twist it from yesterday do they put you in like a white room with no vibes in it mm. and it's just white walls or yeah. do they put a bitch in the corner excuse me a black queen a grand rising black queen muffin in the corner and then you go hey what's up with you and then you could jerk off you don't you don't get the fucker though like it's mm. none it's no actual mm. sex Mm-mm. because they want to keep it professional yeah, but see, you you can say like, "Yo, show me, can you show me?" I a feel titty? like if if you go into a sperm bank and you do have sex, that's not even like that's dirty cum. That is dirty cum. That's dirty cum. That's I'm not even. Right, you, you know what? I'm going right. That's down. not good cum. You want wholesome cum? And I was telling Lur that I really do think that the environment in which you do come is how your child comes out. Yes. So if you don't. If you're not in a, a healthy environment, right? When you're coming, yes. I feel like your child comes out funny looking. Yes. I feel like they look a little weird. They're gonna look like one of us. They be the ones that look a little. You think that our parents came in? I don't think. Well, yeah, all right then. So why would you say that? Dude, why would you? Why would, you parents, why would you bring us up? <laughs> don't bring me up when I'm talking about funny looking people and coming. <laughs> now I'm going to think about it. Like, was my dad in a stressful environment when he was coming Probably. to make and me they, look like the, this? The nineties. That's why I got this style on my eye. Yeah, it's a nasty environment. In the nineties, he, he was probably stressed. My father. I'm, I'm gonna go with stress. my life in Philly. Um, where you conceived in Philly? It, yeah, in the nineties. Yes. Yeah, I was. I was conceived in um Delaware town, Delaware, County? Delaware County Hospital. That's where I. Came out. At, I don't know where I was conceived at. You was born in Delaware County. Yeah, you a Delco nigga? Sure. Wow, I didn't know that. Delaware County Hospital. It's closed down now, but wow. Is it? Yeah. Damn. Delaware County Memorial Hospital. Maybe. Wow, you was born in Delco. 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 That's guy. Interesting, bro. Hoagie. That just. <laughs> <laughs> Hoagie. I saw a TikTok video, Instagram, where they was they talking was about Delco. And I was like, yo, white people really be putting on this weird ass accent. Yeah. Or is that how they I talk? Think, I think that's just how they talk. I think I don't they're know. just dirty. We don't know them, do we? They're dirty Philadelphians. I know a few. Yeah. A girl I used to work with, she she was from Delco. She was she a dirty Philadelphian? She was you know Yeah. I worked with her. Right. Is she a dirty Philadelphian? Uh, you tell me. Yeah. You remember her? We hung out with her. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I girl. think all of them was dirty Philadelphians. Shut up. She's not dirty. Not dirty, but like, Come like, on. like Hagi, yeah. like Hagi, like that. It was like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They uh, smoking jewels. She used to smoke jewels. I smoke jewel too. You tried a jewel? No. Oh, really? What? what the hell? But it sounds cool. What was we talking about before we went to? Dinner? Yes, so sorry. Was... Common environments. You was born in Delco, is what I was talking. About. Okay. Yeah. So I was saying that I feel like the environment in which you come in is what, like. That's the child that you create. So if I'm in a stress-induced environment, yes. my child is going to look funny mm. when it comes out. You said something yesterday about missing eyebrows. Remember that? <laughs> you said the baby's going to have no, no eyebrows. No, it's going to be like them, them people that have the very short eyebrows. Thin eyebrows. Not thin, just short. Oh, just short. So it stopped right, yeah. right here. Yeah. You know people that got that thumb that's shorter than the other ones? You know what I'm talking about? The fingers? Sanaa Lathan has a thumb like that. It's really, it's a funny looking thumb. It's like small. You ever see Sanaa no. Lathan's thumb? You mean the, 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 the ring fingers? Her thumb. No. Can you look up Sanaa you ever see somebody's? You ever see somebody's thumb and it'd be like smaller than the rest? Of the of their hand? Yeah. Well, your thumb is smaller than the rest of the hand. No, bro. You, you got to show me, You're bro. pissing me off, You got to, huh? You're not explaining it right. I know. I'm trying. Yeah, the thumb's shorter than the rest. It's always shorter It's than a rest. little thumb. They got like a little thumb. Like she be trying to hide it. Damn. 
You see how little her thumb is? <laughs> Why she you never realized her thumb? <laughs> her thumb sure is. Some people have that, see. though. I don't know what it's called. It's called a thing, but it's celebrities it's have. It's called It's called mini thumbelitis. Yes, I feel like when you come in a stressed induced environment, you got <laughs> mini thumb. Yeah, her pop was stressed when he was. Bro, he was her thumb, her. for listeners, her thumb is like shorter than the average thumb. It's like side. it got cut off. Yeah. Halfway through, she's got a she's got a small thumb. It's a few it's a few people like that. Yeah, DJ Paul, he does small hand though, just birth defect. For but sure. nobody knows until the internet came around. Yeah, so it's like um, music soul child's eye. What's wrong with music soul child? Eye? What happened to his eye? You never seen music soul child's eye? Nigga, no. You never. What the fuck? <laughs> you never realized what happened when he took his glasses off? No, he got a weird eye. Bro, he is funny looking. I didn't, I didn't even peep my mans, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. See, the, the internet age got these celebrities hating us, bro, because this shit we don't notice. Hey, look, music soul child's eyes. <laughs> You've never seen see music soul child, bro. <laughs> 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 bro, Come back, bro. bro. <laughs> yes, it is, bro. Yeah, bro. Music Soul Child's eyes are insane, bro. You you never realize, yo. You never realize when niggas wear shades too much. It's like it's obviously something going on with it. <laughs> why is that, why is that? Why I go up to the? It's like, looking bro, like, that motherfucker go. It, that yo, thing, who, yo, who, no, who, what that's your dude. No, which head ass nigga? <laughs> Do whatever it want, bro. Yeah, which hate ass nigga pointed that out though, bro? You never noticed that, bro? No, what the fuck? <laughs> no, that's not right, bro. That's yeah. not. I don't appreciate that. It's so right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's so right. You should have known what was up with Cuz when he spelled his name with a Q. <laughs> no, when he switched his whole personality to the hustle. Yeah, no, come on. That's an eye, bro. That's a hell of an eye. Y'all, did y'all notice oh that music switch had a fucking funny eye? Yeah. Okay. I noticed that. I remember when he took his glasses off in one of his music videos and people were like, oh. I ain't never peep, bro. Now, who else got some weird shit with him? It's a I rapper in uh, Chicago called MAF T Ski or something like that. Uh oh. And then, like, the comments was like, yo, y'all ain't peep this nigga fingers. What's wrong with him? He, he's a hot rapper, but I think he either. You had to throw that part in there. He a hot rapper. He's tough. But, like, <laughs> only haters will point that out, though. That's not hate. That's not hate. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah, but like if you don't, I think I love when it's like not obvious. Like y'all can't come to us and be like, "Yo, they fat." It's like we know, we know it's obvious. Right. But if it was like, I don't know, if I had it's really knee. nothing wrong with us. If I had like an inverted knee, other than the stop, what's an inverted? What knee? if I had like an inverted arm? Like this arm went out that way instead of like in. Oh, naturally. but people never but noticed, noticed it, noticed right? It. Yeah, yeah. You got to stare at me to know. If you talking, yeah, or you had to see you live because I feel like that's something people would hide. People hide things like that. Or if you had a missing side tooth towards the back part. Yeah, that's that's still not. Nigga, if you stare you think that's enough, What you think is worse? Finding out that your shorty got music soul child eyes? Music soul child eyes. <laughs> that's worse. That's, that's worse the worst everything. thing ever. <laughs> she wearing shades to the first day Although and you I like, will, all right. Well, I will say somebody I did before had a, had a lady. You, you know her. A little lazy eye? Yeah. I know her? Yeah, and I didn't notice, but apparently. Oh, it was there. there. People yeah. knew? Yeah. But it wasn't like a, it would only go lazy sometimes. That's how you know love is blind. She was cute though, so I was like, all right. You were so blind to it because you were in love. But I didn't really start to notice it. I noticed it, but when she said it, I said, oh, it's, it's cool to make joke fun of it now. But once she said it, it's like, all right. Yeah, because no, I was scared of it. I was we're scared, good. I was scared of death of her. Ah. So I, I, I would have never said nothing about it. Yeah. I feel like once they bring it up, then you got to go like, all right. Like if I was dating a shirty and like, yeah, she had like a funny toe. I'd be like quiet yeah. until she makes a joke. You know. What about if you're sh- okay? So, I feel like if your shorty underarms stink a little bit, Whoa. you have to say something. Um, and it's not that they stink all the time, but if you out, you know, and it's like okay, yeah, you could joke about it, babe. Them joints humming. Mm. You feel me? Like, but you gotta say something. Yeah, because it's sometimes it's. <clears throat> I'm trying to think like. Sometimes it do be the deodorant, or sometimes they might fuck around, forget, mm. or they rushing. But it's like, you, you ever, you mean like a shorty put her shit up? You, and like, you go, that can't, that can't be my bitch. Yeah, you check, you check yourself. Nah, oh, I cool. think yeah, I think um, in the case like that, because the thing is, you what you can't do no more is you can't buy him a gift. Right. You can't buy him a gift no more. Right. It don't work no more. Right. You gotta you gotta say something to him like straight up. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't buy your deodorant and be like, "Hun, this a gift," because they already know now. Yeah, facts. Damn, I stink. We didn't give up the secrets. So. That is how you give but up the secrets. Your, so what do you do? Ch- do you just tell them straight if up? If it's your chick, babe, that's your, that's yeah, your yeah, shit. Ain't gonna lie, babe. Give me your Jones. Your shit's is on me. Don't let her. Don't let her try to laugh it off and don't care. Yeah. <laughs> or you could be like, you could be like, uh. You get a stick of deodorant, right? right? And then you tell her, like, all right, act like we on a roller coaster. And when she put her arms up, you <laughs> go like this. <laughs> you just grab them joints. You mean, and you just put the deodorant on real that's fast. Like the, that's like the gum trick. What's the gum trick? Everybody wants some? Oh, you offered to everybody. But oh, you, all right. But you, but so, you want the one nigga to take. All right, so you, so you get into a group of people, right. and you be like, wow, this is like, you know, we about to have a long day. Right. Everybody lift your arms up. Who wants some deodorant? Who wants <laughs> Everybody, party time. For everybody who wants some deodorant, right, right, bro. Right. All right, I'll go first, real fresh, quick. Fresh John. You mean bong? Yeah. Or they, that is funny. How the fuck do you tell your girl she stink? You say, babe, is that you? You can't say you stink. What if she say something fly like I'm trying this natural deodorant? Then you say it's not working. Mm. Or she, be, or what if she just completely Honesty. blankly deny it? That's not me. And you like, well then, I don't you. even want to be with nobody that's not <laughs> that's willing to. <laughs> I don't want to be with nobody that's willing to like you know. If I can't talk to you about your stench, yeah, I don't even think we could. I don't think it's gonna work out. Yeah, no. People that you can't talk to, that's crazy. If I can't tell you about yourself, yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, because you're not open to the to the to the concept of like criticism. Because that's if 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 my shorty uh, criticized me and about some funk shit. I'm gonna take it into consideration. I'm gonna go handle that immediately. A thousand percent. And I lost my new cologne that I bought. What kind was it? Was it, it a sturdy John? Dupe. It was a Dior dupe. What was it? Oh, it was a duplicate. Yeah, it was. You know the Muslim. Oh, you got it off I of Timo. On a, on a the, the store, they got all. I mean, they got a wall. Full Is it of a shit. store? Store. Walk into. Yeah. Brick and mortar. Muslim John. Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure it from, wasn't the, a... from the from the, uh, from the from the hijabs, the niqabs. You want to know what I think is funny? What's uh, that. that like um all the ox out there, shout out to all my ox out there, shout I can at least you mean the niggas set up shop on a fucking douche or any broad street. Right. As if it's like a um mall kiosk. Like it's a yeah. like it's a kiosk at a mall. You know how niggas in the middle of the mall be selling shit? Yeah. It's like I came here for foot locker, but I'm a Pull up to my nigga with the sense. I'm gonna get a piercing. He gonna have to smell goods over here. You mean right? That's really well, outside, funny. Outside, in but public? it's outside. But it's just like on public. I'm trying to think. We need to figure out a um a get rich quick scheme that we could set up shop outside. I seen little girls selling lemonade, and I just felt like rolling my window down. Like try something new. You know how much that probably would have cost it? How much? I think a glass of lemonade right now is about three dollars. I feel like they have four dollars a. Probably four dollars. I feel like they had a four dollar sign up, yeah. which is crazy. And I'm like, that's it's not, not going to work. It's not back in the day where you can go get a cup of fifty cent mm. lemonade or a dollar. What do people like right now? Pussy. Besides vagina. Um, food. Food with the uh with the green shit sprinkled on it. Matcha. No, 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 no. no. People don't like matcha. <laughs> no, what green stuff? You know the shit parsley. Oh, you know how they sprinkle everything with, yeah, uh, with parsley. You'll fuck a platter. We I feel like get wings. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could be, we could be the wing, the wing boys, wing guys. Yeah, I, I feel like that's you know we need to sell a product. Wings. You think wings? Yes. You know how they got like monthly subscriptions? To what, bro? To everything. And we don't have a brick and mortar, but a monthly subscription. But they got monthly subscription. They get it sent to their house. Okay. What if we send wings to their house? No, that's not tangible. That's not tangible? No, because now we have to now we going through a whole nother certification of keeping food fresh during delivery. Okay. So we're gonna talk that. What if we send veneers to your house? No. Because we have to send them a mold first so they could get their teeth All right. molded, right? You, now you talking. So let's think of something general. That's not general? Necklaces. Mm. A bracelet. Well, I feel like there's we're T-shirts. we're in the right market. We are. Accessories. accessories accessories is a market yes what are people doing nowadays though i feel like you know you know who had a product on on a gram i mean on tiktok that was really tough it was these um these shoestrings <laughs> <laughs> but but here's the thing though okay they was like this like kind of stretchy <laughs> no but they was i ain't gonna not gonna bullshit 
Boy, boy, doing good on the talk with them Jones. Oh, so you do, you do, you you. They look cool. They don't look like cheesy. You just, you know, tie them up in like shoes that's like difficult to put on, like blazers. Oh, you just, you just put them in. They, they stretch, stretch a into bit. the thing. Yeah. I did see those, and I'm like, yo, that's people a got them on a TikTok shop. Yeah, bro, commission bro. they they making commission over. And a boy who was selling the bonnets that don't come off. Oh yeah, those are it was like dropping bricks and shit and hanging that's off. That's a really good idea. Yeah, that's great marketing. Or whole time they was just super glowing that shit that they had. Yes, <laughs> yes. Or let's see. Yeah, tequila. Well, uh oh. Now we're there. Now a we lick, are a somewhere. Brand. A liquor brand. What's a popular drink right now? Tequila. Tequila is popular. I feel drink. like I feel like we can really sell some tequila to people. Even though I'm not, I'm not gonna drink a lot of it, but you're not a good salesman for tequila. Yeah, no, I'm not. Hmm. But we can definitely people will buy them. People do like tequila. But we will only come out with this in the beginning. The select small John, like a like a pint, like a personal personal John of, yeah. of, of the tequila. Got to be a fancy bottle. But then do we got to get a liquor license? We might have to get a liquor license. <sighs> we'll figure something There's out. There's rules guys. to everything, which kind of pissed me off. Guys, send us your invention ideas so we can steal them. So we can steal them. We can steal them. And we not. You remember when Teeth Gems had a gems that people would put on their teeth that had a run? Is that still going? Still going. People still like that. Yes. We did that. So Teeth Gems. No. Why not? That's a really good idea. We gotta apply them. They can apply it. They damn so. So we just sending them. It's a nigga on a TikTok. It's a nigga on TikTok that sell uh screen covers. I like Tip Top too. That's my favorite. Tip Top. Yeah. What's that? Remember you was like. You was like you told me you said nigga you always correcting somebody's speech, yeah. And I and I realized I really I said do. TikTok though. No, you, first you said tip top. I swear to God, let's, let's listen, listen back, back to the tape. Listen back, yo. I said TikTok. I'm gonna try to comment it on YouTube. They just tell me if I said tip top. Yeah, but what did we say? Was he selling on TikTok? Screen covers. Oh, when he was hitting so it on the, the ground screen, and shit. Yeah, what was it? It's like an Albanian nigga. He put the screen on. He slide it up. And then slide it across. Oh yeah, I seen that. Showing off. He's like a little John in the front. Like a hard zone, and then he yeah. do a little, and then he wipe it. I mean, swipe it, and then it like it, all the air bubbles go. I guess so. Yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. what happens. That sounds boring. It does, but it, we need that for your teeth. No. Gems. What we do need to sell is teeth, is teeth whitening. Mm. We would have to be there. It got to be good comp. Why we gotta be there? We gotta do the teeth whitening. Oh, we have to be white, teeth whiter teeth. Yeah, 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 we should. We could just give veneers and then act like. <laughs> Our teeth Yo, I'm watching this. I was watching this joint on the tube, right? Because that's all I watch, y'all. Y'all know that. Shout out to the tube. And this lady was telling a horror story about getting her veneers from a fucking veneer tech. Yeah. And she said at one point, no, y'all, my nails not dirty. Um, I've been scratching my head, and it's the, the enhancement. Oh. Put in my shit that's like coming out of my nails. But um, the lady was having a horror story about her veneers, and she was saying how painful they were. And, on her um, teeth? So painful that she pulled them out herself, but it was oh. so hard to pull out. Oh. They, like, glued in, and she was like, I couldn't bear the pain no more. And the lady wasn't giving oh. her, like, a refund. It was, like, a whole lot of shit going Jesus. on. Jesus. She had to walk around with those dinosaur teeth? Yeah, and they hurt. She said it was pitching, like, some nerves and shit. Jesus Christ. And she just was like, she's like, the doctor couldn't deal with a veneer tech, couldn't get them off. So she was, like, went veneer home tech. and was, like, pulling them off herself. Jesus. Like, and so, wait, when she took them off, they was just chisel, right? Um, let me see here. It was like chisel teeth. Yeah, it was just a bottle. Like it was like like little bullshit teeth. But um, I think that when you when you are an adult and you make like a bonehead decision like that, yeah, I feel like you have to live with such boneheaded decision. You just gotta go because it's gotta be a thing. There's no way on God's green earth that I would allow somebody who doesn't have a dental degree or any certifications aligning with a dental to degree my, to do my anything mouth. with my teeth. Yeah. Like it just You only get one set of teeth Number one You don't get to play with that Yeah um, That's like asking somebody to You know Give you stitches Or or, or, or Put your bone back together And they like Yo I'm a bone tech like, uh, I, know, I, know how, I know how to do small Alignments with the bone Just the bone That's like a BBL joint Like I seen a joint on the internet That did uh, instant Instant BBLs But it was She was using fix it flat But no But this is oh, This some Philly okay. shit Okay It was some new shit Really? Like instant BBL. Like, you know where I can find it at? I'm going to show you exactly who. Instant BBL? What if it's just you just walk into a room and there's just somebody punching your ass until it swell up? Until it swell up and you got 48 hours of fat you gotta, ass. And you just got a hickey on your ass. I'm going to show you exactly who do it because he be promoting her too. I think this is chick or something. Oh, is that... um? Yeah, don't say it. You mean of, you mean of that side? Yeah. 
Damn. Here we go. Hold on. This is chick. And she be she doing. She used to do um. What you gonna call it though? Like what the fuck? That don't even impress me. But that's her truck and shit, right? And people walk in there and they get it done. Yeah, but like, ain't that illegal? I would think it would be. I would think it would be. It's just like. She looks like she punch niggas. Oh, booty fillers. It's a booty filler? So what she do? Just put put that. Nope. Nope. You're not even wearing like doctor shit. Nope. Like that's it's, nope. She not even wearing like a doctor. Like you mean? But that's a, that, scrubs. Where her scrubs at? That has to be illegal. You are not about to give me booty fillers and you wearing booty shorts? A word. What the fuck is happening? So what we just witnessed was a lady doing booty fillers and she just was putting a needle into. But she didn't learn from the one lady who went to jail for that. So yeah, that's disgusting. You got to learn herself. That's gross. But, she was putting fix a flat in people's asses though. That's crazy. But to the women who actually go and get this done, I want to know. Um, I want to know. What what like what like what's stopping you from going to the gym? Squat. That's a lot Especially of squats. Especially women who already got the butt uh, blueprint. Mm-hmm. Like it's not going. It's like it's like okay. Like for example, say like you know niggas, right? Mm-hmm. Me and you got like shoulders. If we go shoulders. to the gym for two weeks straight and really work on them, they will grow. They, they will, will start yeah, to grow. Yeah, yeah, they if you will. if you if you a woman and you want to get your ass fatter and you got the ass jeans. Go do leg workouts for a month or so, mm-hmm. and you will ha- your ass will come you out more. Do, you gotta do squats and shit like without that. the health risk. Because if there's something happened with, uh, with her, like somebody got sick or something with her, mm-hmm. she don't got insurance to be like, yo, yeah, you know? my bad. She could just go get on a run. Yeah, move to Kentucky. Yes, and change your name. He going to jail too for promoting that. He's going to jail for sure. I'll ask him to come on the podcast. You did. He didn't say anything. That's a good look. Yo, him. Philly comedian niggas really be boozy, bro. Like for no reason. For I don't no get reason. It. I, I'm I don't just, get I'm it. gonna just say names. I feel so, like Instagram comedians in general yeah. are like that, and it's like, nigga, who the fuck is you? I tried to get a uh, funny boy Quill on the podcast. Never said nothing. What did, right? Like what for? Why not? And I though? think he's genuinely funny. I think he's funny. But it's like, what else are y'all doing that y'all can't come up here? I tried to get Southside Jew. Funny guy. What I else? think he's very funny. Yeah, what? 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 So that was me. Sound. That was me. Okay, that cool. That was my phone. What else are you doing that you can't compare? And, and like I said, I, it's not like I'm in any, these niggas' DMs begging because I'm definitely not. I just no, like, you well, just asking a question. I send a message, and if they don't answer, I'd be like, word. Mm-hmm. You know? But does it say seen? Maybe they don't see it. No, it doesn't say seen. Mm. But I always comment on somebody old post and go, yo, check your DM. Oh, yeah, that's smart. And they usually work, so. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's man. smart. Yeah, I mean, that is interesting. I do think that it's kind of weird that um, who are you? Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah, that you can't come up here. You Why think not? that people DM us and say the think same? You better thing? than me? Hmm? Yeah. Punk? Sometimes you do. Sometimes you are better than people. Do they think they're better than us? That's a good point. Mm. Who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? I don't want to be stuck in Philly comedian land. I don't either. But, but it think, would be nice to have one up here. Well, we gotta get FH Snoop up here first. We keep that playing was good around. how you did that. Yeah. Yeah. F.A. Snoop, we're going to bring F.A. Snoop up here soon. One That's day, y'all. One. And if y'all got any yeah. guest suggestions or type of guests that y'all want us to have, because we haven't had a guest in a while, then, you know, tell shoot them us cut, up. Tell them pull up. Tell them to pull up. I think that would be great. Oh, yesterday we had a ranking of, um, yo, we had a nut ranking at one point, which is crazy. Who the fuck had a nut nuts, ranking? like the type of nuts. Oh. You got offended, bro. Yeah, I was about to say. If I had the David Banner in my head, then it would have been different. That would have been crazy. That right now would have been vicious. That I tried to put crazy. the head on and looked in the mirror, bro, and I seen it loop towards the back. Underneath your and head. I, and you I, said, uh-oh, you can't. I, if I can't even put my hat on. Then, I can't do this. Then it can't happen. Hey, yo, I just we can't did do. have a, a, a ranking yesterday where we were talking yeah, we about did. gay lyrics. Oh, no. I was going moo-moo ranking. Oh, we had clothes ranking. We, we did rankings. rank that. We did. We had two Damn. Rankings. So on the podcast, on the the confirmed, not confirmed that we ever did it, podcast, podcast, but we did do it for sure. Um, we had a ranking of you know women's casual house clothing. Yeah, my I'm, we're going we're going to do four, and here's my ranking from best to worst. Mm-hmm. Best to me was um, what's the cat? Damn fuck! Oh, we had t we had big t shirt, big t, no panties. 
we T-shirt had, with no pants. We had on. boy shorts and, boy shorts. and, and crop top shirt. Mm-hmm. We T-shirt. had Mumu and Big T-shirt was in the same thing. Then we had panties and bra, which Lionel hated. Hated. And then we had pajama pajamas. Yeah, I Lionel just liked. said flat out pajamas. Right. You know what I'm talking about, like the the look of you know that I'm getting my hair done look. Right. From a shorty on a Sunday, pajama pants with the robe, maybe, and um, bonnet, bonnet, huge bonnet, which he likes, big, big bonnet, super, and I love it too. Love a big. No, bonnet. you said you hate the big no, bonnet. I didn't, I didn't. You hate her. That didn't, that, that episode you are exist. a hater. It, it does matter, exist. So. Larry said he hated the big bonnet. He is anti-black for sure. Never said that. He said he hated because it come down too far on the eyebrows. This I nigga. Didn't say that, man. This guy, he's anti-black for sure. So my rankings was number one was Mumu, big t-shirt naked. Is my number one. Big t-shirt, nothing on my t-shirt. Yeah, but it gotta be my big t-shirt. My big t-shirt. Number two for me was boy shirts and crop top. Yeah. Number three for me was uh. You hating on that? Telling you. Was was oh oh lingerie oh panties and bra yeah and number four at absolute last was pajamas you was a hating ass at nigga. absolute last was pajamas you a hater bro all right so your list is pajamas first mumus mumu mumu first hey turn that type of no kiss. I'm sorry bro it sound too close to the other one <laughs> that sounds just like the camera it sound like it's about to go off yeah. all right my bad so Lionel's number one is mumu. Mumu and Big T shirt. That's one A one B. Um, Mumu Big T. Um, number two is probably pajama pants. That's crazy. I like the I like the look where the shorties be like, "Girl, I gotta get my hair done." Right. In pajama girl, I got, pants. Girl, I got something to do. I got in pajama pants. They do that with their pajama pants on. Okay. Be like, girl, I'm trying. I'm in the middle of getting my hair done. So are they wearing plaid pajama pants or regular pajama pants? Plaid pajama pants are hot because you know the pussy be sweating in there, John. And plaid pajama pants? You talking about thick plaid pajama pants? Yeah, yeah. Like it's, yeah, it's like wintertime. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's um, fucking November. Yes. And I know that motherfucker's sweating in there. And I'm just like, listen, be comfortable around me. I like That's to take fact. it off. Yeah. Wear a bunch of shit so I can take it off. Facts. Um, what was uh, after that? Not Brown not panties. those. No, boy shorts. Brown panties is last. Uh, and boy shirts right before that? Bro, bro, boy I do shirts. Like a, I like a good crop top, man. It's ass. With no with no bra, just they be all wearing nipples. sports. They be wearing sports uh bras and shit like that. No, 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 no. Like a like a crop tee with the nipples out. Like this? Yeah. I mean, it's cool. If they got the low hanging nipples, they come out the shirt a lot, which is fun. Which is like, why you even got that on? Yeah, but it's like a, you know. They for the I don't think women they like for the perker year. I don't think like women like having their shirt off. I don't think women like having their shirt off and just nipples out and titties hanging. Like honestly, except except for if they like come home or something. But I think they like it covered. Yeah, because I feel like they feel kind of exposed, even if they with they nigga. Like, like, uh, like I'm experiencing, it's out. but it's it's like some like they rather they rather go bottomless than topless from my experience. Mm, keep the top are, on. You know, women do keep the top on. Yeah. Women do keep the top on. Women keep the top on during sex. Yeah. Mm. Which is crazy. They do sometimes. Sometimes, but you know. They do. You good. But I, I, I don't tell them to take it off. Sometimes you just get to fucking and then you realize that it's still on. But then but so I I, I do like to lift it up mostly over t- I, I like okay, I like naked. But I don't mind lifting the t-shirt up in missionary and just having it over the like, yeah, the uncovering the titties and just mm-hmm. rocking from that angle. But then I'm like, you ever okay? You ever get into a point in in, a, in sex where you trying to peel off her pants while you eating her pussy, but her legs is over top of your head and the pants is on both her ankles? Oh, and, you rushed oh, it. Yeah, like you, you rushed you, it. You down here, right? You her legs it. up. Ankles yeah. got the still got the pants or whatever on it, and you like yo take these bitches off, and you reaching back like this now. Now you trying you're doing to, a lot. Now you you're, trying, yeah, now man. you in the panty Olympics. Now you yeah, in the, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's too go much going right on. Down. It's too much happening. Thanks for that. That's a lot, man. That's that's um. But you know what though? That's where you supposed to be patient. You Ben was supposed to take that shit off, but you got a little excited that you were gonna be having some sex. You got excited as an adult. Adult yeah. excitement. Yeah, it's real. And you rushed to eat. You did. 
you rushed to eat and you should have should have took everything off and made sure everything was taken care of. That's usually like um it usually happened to me when I'm when I'm eating a girl pussy for the first time and mm-hmm. I'm excited like she's gave me the consent and permission mm-hmm. and I'm and I'm like, "Okay." You're like, "All right." And bet. I'm like, "All right." All right bet. Yeah, so now it's just, you know what I mean? Like lift that up mm-hmm. and then I'll take those off or if it's hanging from one ankle. Now you got what if she got jeans? One ankle is fine. But she got the jeans hanging from one ankle. Now it's just hitting you in the head. Well, it doesn't hit you in the head, does it? Because the jeans are hanging. Oh, yeah. So you got to take the jeans take it off. off. Oh, she's... Yeah. Well, also, she might be a little like, you're rushing it now. How the fuck you ain't take him off? That's a good point. Sometimes you... Sometimes, take him off. Sometimes I definitely got the eating pussy with the jeans and the panties on. Like, I pulled and it down panties? a little bit. I pulled it down a little bit. And I put my head under. And it just... Panties still around her thighs? Yeah. yeah. No, but I like no pull, I like pulling the, the jeans and the panties together though if they got jeans on specifically. I like pulling the jeans and panties down. No way the panties are still there. Pan, pants, panties with the jeans. I'm uncomfortable. If you see panties with the jeans, yeah, I feel like now I have I have um what is it called when you um by dysmorphia? No, no. When you in somewhere where it's like closed out, not dyslexic. No, you got it in elevators. Claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. Don't say you got it in elevators. You do have it. <laughs> That's how I feel. I would feel claustrophobic if the panties were still on <laughs> and I'm trying to, you know, go to town. Yeah. That's a lot, bro. Like it's a lot happening there. Like I mean, sometimes though you feel like like you like sometimes as a nigga, you get into a mode where you literally are getting pussy and you literally are having sex and making love to a woman that you've wanted to make love with for a while and you in it. And you just like the gun. I, you just like I can't believe it, or you eating a pussy, and you like I really can't believe I'm eating this pussy right now. I'm very excited, but you got to keep excited. your composure as you eat. Mm. You feel me? Because you get excited, and you like yo, that, then that's where the excitement comes from. Have game one jitters because she can't fu- do it. She fully clothed, and you eating pussy. She's not fully clothed, She's fully brother. Clothed, it's bro. no way there's clothes. Ha- take them off. No, you gotta take everything off. I'm gonna feel like a dickhead if you're still wearing your jean jacket. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating pussy like that's got crazy. A fucking park on. If I look up and you still got all of your tops on, it's like, <laughs> why do you have an overcoat on top of a t-shirt? Yeah, in my bed with your belt on. It's just like she got her BB belt on. BB, what's that? Like BB belt. Rhinestones. That, this, yeah, that's that New York shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Shout out to all my. New but York but then okay, on the flip side, you ever have, um, which is not a problem, but you ever have a woman come into your space? And they like very comfortable, and they too just, comfortable. They just get, they just start to take everything off, and so, it's like you know, it's a little premature, but you know, it's like it's, it's all good. I remember a ways back, I invited some somebody over, mm-hmm. and um, I had we was like downstairs in the living room, and I went upstairs to go to the bathroom, and when I came back down, she took her clothes off and had a glass of orange juice. Glass this was the from? first time she was wait, ever wait, at my house. Where did she get a glass of orange juice from? My kitchen, bro. Uh, nah. She nope. went into my kitchen. Nope. Bro, she took her clothes off. <laughs> went into my kitchen, grabbed the glass out the out the joint. Went in the refrigerator. Went in the fridge, poured the orange juice, and came back. And set the fuck. She down. was sitting on my couch, bare ass. What the fuck wrong with, with you? a glass of orange juice? And I'm not even gonna hold you. I don't snoop around other people's houses. I don't have, yeah. I don't got roaches or mice. Right. But I don't snoop around other people's houses because I don't know what the fuck they, they got. got. If I go into somebody's kitchen without announcing that I'm about to go into your kitchen, without you telling me to go into your kitchen, right. whatever, and I flip the light on and I see a roach, I'm going to scream like a bitch. Yeah, you're going to hear that. And I'm running. We're going to hear that. Because I can't believe you got roaches. That's why you're supposed to mind your fucking business and don't move until... When you in somebody else's house, mind your business. Don't move until somebody tell you to move. I mean, she clearly... She she didn't even have... She just took her clothes I don't like off. that shit. But I also, like, she didn't even get the regular shit, which might be water. Yeah, how, why would you go right for the juice? And like, I wouldn't even... I, I would fuck. ask juice for water. I would, I would ask for the water. Like, it's a yeah. Philly sugar tax, bitch. What is you doing? Yeah. <laughs> it's a this, sugar tax. This before the sugar tax. No, nah, this is bro. The shit. When did the, when did we get here with the sugar tax? I feel like that was like one. Was it? Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Oh, I thought it was like in the twenty seventeen. Aha! Right. Uh-huh. Noah Lowe's got bronze, bitch ass nigga. I hate him. He got bro. gold still though. He did. He got bronze in two hundred. Not that ass nigga. Who he lose to? Ramel. Botswana takes gold. 
Who the fuck? Kenny Bednarik wins silver. Oh, that's my guy. You know Kenny Bednarik? Mm-hmm. Where you know him from? I watch Shrek. Oh, all right, cool, 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 cool. Who's number two? Bednarik was number Show two. Me. Botswana was no, was gold. That's Botswana, no, that's where he's from. I'm about Botswana. to say, nigga, that's that's not a country. That is a country. Yeah, I don't know his name. He got an interesting name. Shout out to the whole country of Botswana for getting a gold. Leslie, Leslie, Leslie. Okay. Tobogo. Shout out to Tobogo Leslie. Yeah, that's his name. All right, I'm trying to find out about this sugar tax. It's only sugar tax, y'all. Is like so in Philly or PA. Or was it just Philly? It's just Philly. It's where they put a tax Philly. on anything that wasn't water. So anything that sugary drinks, um, they put a tax on it, which is funny because like we shouldn't be drinking that shit anyway. Right. But they gonna charge us more. Which to me, like a tax just it's just like it's just like damn, man. Like we we can't win for losing in this country. That's why you just gotta continue to make bread and just do your shit. Mm-hmm. Cause I know I know a lot of people with really good jobs that have to pick up second jobs. <sighs> Bro. And I mean, like they work, you know, in 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 health, education, you know, corporate, and they're like, yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a part time job where, you know, I'm doing this on the side, and it's like people shouldn't have to subside their income. 2017. Yeah. Oh, okay, I was wrong. 2017, bro. I knew it was the effect of the soda tax is beyond beverages in Philadelphia. 2017, bro. 2017, bro. We've been dealing with this shit for not me. You don't. I don't buy. You don't it. do a sugar tax. I don't buy the stuff. What do you mean you don't buy the stuff? Like I, I don't remember the last time I went, but like juices or juice. Yeah, but it's taxed. Isn't it taxed within like meals and stuff like that? No, just the juice. No, so, that's what I'm saying though. Like when you when we order out at like Wingstop, the tax don't go into the juice. I don't get a juice from Wingstop though. You talking about? You don't get a juice? No, I don't get anything to drink. Mm. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really, I don't, I mean, back in the day when I was younger, I did used to get like, but I didn't get soda. I used to get um, like Hawaiian Punch or uh, High C. High C. That's my like go to for sure. But I don't trust this little machine they got that mix everything in one. It's too many flavors. There's too much going on. Too many flavors. Not a fan. I don't like it either. Other it's day, too many flavors. I got water from Wingstop, right? Mm-hmm. And it tasted like Sprite. Because, too you know, when flavors. you press it, the shit got to come out first. Yeah. So when I do it myself, I press it first and let it, you know, yeah. clean out a little bit, and then it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And that, and that, I feel like that kind of take me to my next uh, topic. Before you deal with somebody new, make sure you get over the last one because it's too many of that. Because you still got a little bit of that sprite from the last nigga on you. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I like, do, make sure your life is situated before you before you fuck with somebody else sure. after that because you still got. Shit that you've been dealing with in the past, you still right. got a little bit of Hawaiian punch from the last nigga last on nigga. you. Make sure you go ahead and fully cleanse before you deal with a nigga like me. Facto, you feel me? Because you was dealing with a, you was dealing with a little power eat ass nigga. Right now, you still got the blue power eat on you a little bit. Right, right, Make right. sure you, you mean? Make sure you get you a, you, you clear out that pilot first. Still got a hint of raspberry on you before you dealing with a nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? I'm pure agua. Yes. You mean? I'm you, pure no, water. he's a flavored water. Wata. I ain't no, I ain't you no flavor f- water, I ain't bro. no flavor water. Is. You are a crystal light. No, ew. You is a crystal light, bro. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Crystal I'm, light. I am, what's the, uh, what's the water that uh, the baddies drink? Smart. I'm Voss. <laughs> I ain't see a Voss in years. That was That's, the, that Voss was, was that baddies water. drink for that sure. That was a bad bitch water. Yeah, though, I'm bro. Voss. I'm, I come in a glass bottle. Yeah, mean cylinder, John. You know what? My mom when she did like this uh, a couple she of events at the salon. Oh, no, everybody was having Voss. I forgot about that. Voss, Voss go hard. It's crazy how we That's got elitist in water, but I definitely feel like a. a I feel like I'm above niggas when I got Fiji. I was about to say Fiji been Fiji been that girl for the longest. The big Fiji since I was since I was a young boy. Yeah. Fiji was like that's a good John. That was baddie water for sure. What else? Baddie water. Waikiki. Smart, Kiki. smart Kiki. water used to be baddie water. Smart water used to be baddie water. No, nah, you said the water that Waikiki. Uh, my man's be drinking. Kiwana. My man's. Kiwi but Kiki. Uh oh. Muter. Um, volcanic water? Is that what that it's is? Like, it's like vo- from the volcano. I used to call it Wakanda water. Should be Wakanda water. Yeah. But guess what? Niggas what, drink what, that shit. What kind of water you like? <laughs> God. 
That was, oh, brother. That's Get a good your corny ass. Yo, Remember I, I said yo. something about Joel and B yesterday? But it won't come out. Guess what? It won't. You said, oh, the light. Oh, what is I don't it? know what you're talking about. Right now. So I was, I was going to shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, Harley. Harley! He, he, had a, he had a comedy show boom, 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 boom. Um, yesterday, right? So, yeah. Um, stunt was, go, was going, right? Big stunner, man. Um, and so I was going to go. And uh, because you know, stunt where he resides, I was close, New York. So I was going to go with this nigga. So I was like, he, I said, what time you going? He said, I'm going about a half an hour. I'm like, cool, you know, assuming that we gonna ride together. Maybe I was gonna pick him up. He gonna pick me up, whatever. So I go. Um, he said, I'm about to, I'm about to leave out. I'm like, cool. I, I know he said I'm about to go there. I said, where is there, brother? He yeah. said to the Watusi. I'm like, I was like, are we like you pick you gonna pick me up or? Where's he goes, He said, "No, bro, I'm getting some coochie tonight. I can't, I can't make that happen." I said, "You know what? That's a very respectable reason." I actually respect it. I know. I, hold on. What I respect I the honesty. I, I like say? honesty. I like it when people are honest. When was this? This was last night. Last night. Yeah, cause stunt shows. It. Where mean, is Watusi at? I could definitely be getting stunt in trouble right now. Um, I said, Nobody I said, scoop me, nigga, please. He said, Coochie lined up after I can't. I said, I respect that answer. And he said, Who is that? Board. Stunt or? Stunt. I thought you said swipe. No, stunt. Oh. Yeah, I don't really, I haven't talked to swipe in a minute. So or, I but, um. Watusi. It's that's in West Philly. That's on 46 and one. Or just oh, one. he was like, all right, let's rock. Let's rock. Because I thought he was going to go down there and come back up the way. And he said, no, brother. <laughs> He's getting some ass. <laughs> Sorry. But you know he was celibate for a minute. So now you're like in his bag right now. Oh, oh, yeah, he was he celibate. Was celibate yeah. Oh, he was only, he was only, he was only, yeah, you do it. He was only in Coochie at one point. Really? Yeah. But I respected that reason. If a nigga, if you're going to keep it a being with me like that, keep it a being with me like that, bro. Yeah, I yeah, like that. Like, I hope you pick up. I hope this nigga pick up. He at work, ain't he? He answers at work. Does he? All right, yeah, this nigga better pick up. Stunt don't respect me. <laughs> I'll be stunt ass. <laughs> This bitch is. That nigga trying Your call has been forwarded. Hey, yo. All right, that's cool. He's he trying to really work. That's, that's why. cool. All right, that's he cool. That's really cool. Work. That's cool. I, I call you. my man do, but he, 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 his voice be funny when he working. That's all I would say. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I be fucking rolling, dog. That's hilarious. Niggas really got code switch at their gig sometimes. I mean, I, listen. When I worked at a place where I had to do that, I was not code switching, bro. I feel like that's probably why they let me go. I used to be like, hey, how you doing? Like, That's not bad. That's yeah, but silly, like some people bad. really get into like that zone of like really, really, really cold switching. Like it's it's crazy type shit. You feel me? Yeah. So and it's like I can't really get down with that shit. You feel me? Like I gotta because at a certain point when I'm cold switching, I feel bad. Like I feel like I'm really not being myself. Mm. Don't you dare move the chair. I know what. Damn, bitch! Don't do I was who ever grabbed the. Oh man. my god! We had a real space. I'm that far over. <laughs> we had a real. We had a, I'm about a centimeter you over. No, you have no space over. Oh, there, okay? You're, my arm is off the, off yes, the camera now. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here we go. Here we go. Stunt. Yo, yo, yo. you are, you around people right now? No. You around nobody? No. All right, I got you on the podcast. I ain't know you was back to getting some ass, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nigga. You out here getting butt now? All right. I got excited. Hey, yo. I got excited. You out here getting me. Yo. You back, bro? Damn. I was about to ask y'all. I was just about to text y'all, nigga. Like, yo, when y'all recording? Nigga. Now. Nigga. That don't, that don't matter. You you back in the streets. You back getting some butt. Yeah, how you yeah. feel, bro? I told him how you fla- how, yeah, how you uh, how, I, t- I told him how you chalked me yesterday. Oh, you lost it again? Let me see. I told yeah. him I told him how you chalked me yesterday for some buns, and I respected it. Nigga, I told you to still pull up the Watusi. You did not pull up. I just didn't understand that. Like, here's the thing: if we if we are in the same vicinity, going down there separately was crazy. I'm gonna go next time though, because now I'm prepared. But how was your how was your time yesterday? I, I, I did a good Nigga, we talking about the pussy, we bro. We talking about the butt. Don't nobody give a fuck about your comedy, nigga. Real shit. We're talking about the ass. Well, well, I do have a show tonight, so tell them about I do it. Good. <laughs> do that was tonight. You, the pod not dropping tonight, so the show was great, guys. Uh, no, how was the bu- how was the buns? You're not trying to tell us. It was great. It was great. The buns was great or the comedy? 
The Buns was both was actually great. You had a night. Who uh, is it, bro? What's her name? That's that's not for me the world and Stern to know. are Eskimo brothers. And I didn't know that until Yo, Eskimo bros? Until yesterday. Yeah, we Eskimo brothers and we Eskimo twins. And you got the same birthday, but we are Eskimo brothers, which I discovered the other day. Y'all having the same birthday is gay. I ain't gonna lie. It's kinda gay. That's pretty gay. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to you though, Stunt. You did it, man. Proud of you, bro. <laughs> you did it, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> Proud of you. We're not talking about the comedy. All right, bro. I'm hanging up on you. All right, nigga. All right. Yeah. Bye. So, um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Who. Comedy. Oh, I, I don't even know if I was shocked. I don't think I would be shocked. Yeah, I wasn't shocked. I was I just like, word. I, I was like, all right, cool. I mean, yeah, the, right. the, the pussy is good. So, mm. you know. That's a. Mm. I'm an honest nigga, though. Like, yeah. if, if some sex is good, I could hate you. It still was good. It was good. good, for, good for yeah, you I've got some really good pussy from women that I either hate or hate me right now. I feel like, mm-hmm. you know, we served each other, we served each other's purposes. Mm-hmm. We had a great time, and mm-hmm. and then I've had some vagina whom I was like, this will never. Be or it was just ra- it was just random, or it was just like I don't really remember that, mm. I, or I don't remember like the, like our experience. My maybe I I might have been drunk. Or it was a long time ago, uh, or it yeah. just was like a one-off. I ain't gonna lie, uh, Dre and Michelle might have cooked up when she said you could delete your wholeness. Yeah, but then you see Jada Waiter, the new J- Dre and Michelle, Nicole. <laughs> She's the new Dre and Michelle. Michelle. Nicole, Dre and Nicole. Dre and Nicole. Dre and Nicole is from Poor Moms, sorry. Yeah. Dre and Michelle, I mean, Jada said, oh, Jada Waiter said, um, if you, if you, it's not cheating if you fuck with a condom. Mm. Or if something, what did she say, bro? If you mm. fuck with a condom, it was it wasn't cheating, or if it was like under three minutes. Yes, somebody, I did. Yeah, that's what she somebody said. Somebody quote tweeted, quote tweeted and said, "This is what little baby be telling her." Yes, absolutely. Like, they oh, he, it was oh, a condom. He, it was oh, yeah, like, he pounded that in her head for sure. Yeah, for sure. She also, you know, the jury's still out on that one. She might be right. That's a that's a pretty good take. She, but here's lie. the thing: if you go if you go condom right to to the cheat. But you do literally like, which is unrealistic. You do literally nothing else. You walk in, condom on the penis, pump. I walk in with it. Go. It's on underneath the jeans. Under prison. Under the jeans. Under the jeans. Why you wearing? Why you wearing jeans to the sex session? <laughs> Niggas don't wear jeans to go pull up on something. Not to the section. What section? I never intentionally knew I was getting pussy and wore jeans to go get some pussy. What do you wear? Jeans is not a go get pussy type of pants. Oh, the yes, they are. No, they not. Oh, bro. brother, you are in for a cheat. Sweatpants. Pull up in some jeans. You know what I mean? It's, because that's the thing. I'm having. I'm. I'm thirty. Right, you are thirty. My sex. Sex don't happen after a certain time now. What you mean? I'm thirty. Sex happens at nine p.m. I just left a matinee, and I'm about to go get some. A movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like I just left a movie theater and I'm about to. That's why I got jeans on. Yeah. I'm not pulling up at two o'clock in the middle of the night. I'm not 10, pulling 10, up 10, at 10, 10 a.m. to about two. Is them hours great? I'll go hours. Is when what? Time to go hunting. 10 in the morning? 10 in the morning till two. Till 2 p.m.? It's a really good time to go get some pussy as a grown adult. I'm, I'm okay. Maybe not 10. Yeah, 10 is cool. 10, 10 is a, your setup. 10 o'clock is like. 10 is you setting it up. Okay. Getting there by like 11, 30. Okay. I'm thinking like a, a solid sweet spot is 12 to about 8. 12 no. to 8. 12 to 8 things is happening in that time. I need to be done by like at least going somewhere. 5. 5 p.m.? Yeah. Eight. I feel like 8 is a solid cutoff because, you know, we just had dinner. No. Things is happening. If it's the weekend, if I might be going out that night, I need to be home by 6 so I can take a nap. Oh, if it's nap time at six, I'm that's sleep. Yeah. Yeah. They're sleeping now. No, no. If you get the nap started by five thirty, you wake up about nine. Then you can decide. Hey, I actually might want to go up. Mm-mm. Ain't no deciding because you had a four hour fucking sleep session. So you don't. Go. That's that's foreplay. Don't fool me with a good time. The nap. The minute I go to bed, that's it. Yeah. If I put my head on the pillow, it's curtains, and I wake up, it's a wrap. I'm sleeping. It's a wrap. It's done. It's, it's done. Vibe, don't yeah, don't yeah. don't tease me with a good time. Yeah, true. Don't tease me with a good time. Don't tell me that I'm about to take a nap at six. Yeah. Because once I hit that pillow, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to get some water. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see all of my mixed, missed messages. Yeah. And then I might end up going back to sleep. I'm going to put a movie on and I'm going to go back to sleep. 
I realized one thing um in a in a in no time frame, you know. Mm-hmm. That um I think that I am a I think that I like being degraded in the bedroom. Where have you been at? It's my life. I've been, been been generic. What? That's the guy. Oh, the runner. Yeah. I think I like being degraded. Um yeah. and not for the whole session because I like to do it back or whatever. She went princess treatment, or whatever. But mm-hmm. I do like I do like the negative reinforcement when she's saying like she's saying like, um, uh, I bet you can I bet you know how like they tell you like don't come, but they like, you know, like like I'm trying to think of the words. I like what I tell you about that shit. Yeah, like don't you come, you bitch ass nigga. That might be a little I like that one. Bitch ass nigga? I like that one, yeah. I don't know. That should do something to me. Bitch ass nigga. Or they be or or she be like, Don't come like a bitch. I'm like, ooh, ooh, I'm not no bitch right now. I'm not going I'm not gonna fucking come because I ain't no fucking bitch. Yeah. You feel no, me? No, I am gonna come though. Or like give me that come, you nasty ass nigga. Cause if she like say that. it, then it's over. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm not. Or when she want to come and she say, Give me that come, you nasty ass nigga, or like now I gotta work it up. Yeah, you got because you up. told me not to come, and now you tell me make your mind up. Make it make sense. Why would you tell me that? I'm confused now. But on Niggas the other hand, just come we on don't a, on a fucking dot. That's we can't. Can. I, can. I can't inside the pussy. I can come on a dot. Mm-mm. Yeah, get in that position. I can come on a dot. As, are we talking about like things that I could? You can't just tell me to come. I'm gonna be like I'm about to give me a second. Yeah, I mean, if it's if it's if she already came though. I'm already got my mindset that she might want me to come, so I'm mentally already like, if she tell me to come, I know that I got the fast pumps in me, and it's time to go. You know, that's when you when you kick yeah. the motor up. Yeah. If she yeah. didn't come yet, then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then I could, then I could, then I'm, then I'm, then I'm chilling. But when she does, once she does come, I got myself ready to rock and roll. I'm already at the tip with it. Oh, you, you I'm just Q-tip. You're, yeah, you're the guy. Yeah, your remote control, huh? It's you can already just control that. It's thing. already leaking out. Shout not out to me. birth control, though. Not me. Yeah, I don't know what's going on down there. Yeah, at sometimes what sometimes it's two minutes, sometimes it's twelve. At what point in a relationship do you uh, or do the condoms come off? Off the back. Off the back. I don't know what those is. Off the. Back. Yeah, the way they said if you have sex with a condom on. So technically, you wasn't my chick if I fucked you condom all, all type t- all the time. We just was. We was just fucking. Yeah. Yeah, no. She's, I don't even know why uh, I asked you. She's very unwell. I'm not sure why I asked you about a condom. I'm really not sure why I asked you about Brother, that. Brother? Yeah, I'm sorry. You remember last time I I actually had one rot in my in my wallet before. Last time we got it like rotted. Like it just it it expired. You know what's funny? There when was, was last, no fluid in there. When it was dry, dried out. It was dried out. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> you were sitting your fucking butt cheeks on it with your wallet in your back seat in your in your But pocket. it was not being used. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the last woman that I like really was was banging. Banging is crazy. Like with a consistently with a yonda one. Make sure y'all get y'all my charts, man. How about that? Make Yo, sure y'all get y'all my y'all charts. Get y'all charts. Oh, get tested. Get y'all charts, man. Is that what that is? They call it tested charts now? <sighs> yes. Look That's up cool. for me real quick, because I don't want to fuck my phone up. Get tested. I used to talk about this on Eat Your Heart Out. Go check it out in her new uh YouTube as well. Um mm-hmm. the top ugliest cities in America. Top. Philadelphia is on the list. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and look that up. Ugly is oh, I don't believe it. We're gonna see if y'all if y'all city on there. <laughs> Excuse me. In the US. This bitch ass nigga got carted off to two hundred. No. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga. All right, so go ahead and read get that. Uh list. top ugliest cities in the United States. Oh, we are on there. We are. Totalbeauty.com. All right. Number eight. Yes. New York City. Number eight in New York City? Yeah, I get, I no, get is it. Is it a though. whole list? Yeah. Read from the worst to the best. I mean, the, the, the bottom no, to the top. Going, that's what I'm doing. I'm starting at eight. Oh, it's only eight? Yeah, it's only eight. Oh, okay, cool. Only Good. eight on this website. I, I just 14, but eight is fine. Jesus Christ. No, eight is fine. Uh, New York City, number eight. eight. They should be number one. That's crazy. Number seven, Washington. D.C. or Washington State? Washington, D.C. Okay. Uh, Number six, Philadelphia. Oh, damn. Why are they coming for the East Coast? I feel like. Yeah, it's all East Coast work. What the fuck happened in here? Going, keep going. Number five, Cleveland. 
Now, are they talking about the architecture of the people? You didn't go to people, bro. I did. No, you went cities, bro. All the good looking natives seem to leave in oh, they talk search of me. greener pastures. We can see why poor health. I don't know. This might be ugliest cities. Ugliest. What do I what do I put? Top five cities with ugliest people. Or top cities with ugly people. Damn. Bro went to architecture city. Yeah. Philly don't got ugly art. Yes, it does. Top. We got ugly architecture? Cities with ugly people. Mm, I thought I, architecture? I think our architecture is fine. What do you think? Who do you think has pretty cool architecture? Uh, Puerto Rico got some good architecture. Does it? But it looked like New Orleans. Top 10 cities with ugliest people. Yes. Um, Dude, I cannot find it. Can't find it for real. No. All right, I'll look it up. It's the same. You won't get the same results. Uh. Oh yeah, we looking. Bro, what the fuck? I'm trying to find it, guys. Are oh, we getting there? All right, let's we'll go to this list. Tell us that list. Cities with states with the or cities with the most attractive women, and they got cities with the most attractive men. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go most attractive. We're gonna flip the script. Cities with the most attractive men, to, according to this list, Lincoln, New England. Really? What's any Nebraska? Nebraska? Yes. Uh, Manhattan, New York, number seven. Baton Rouge, number six. Minneapolis, number five. Now Boston. these are handsome. Boston, number four. Virginia Beach, number three. Scottsdale, number two. Jacksonville, Florida, number one. Do y'all Is agree with that list? Handsome men? Yes. Oh. Yeah. And then we going women. Oh, well, Philly's not on that list? So, oh, cities with the most attractive women. Number eight, Philadelphia, PA. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's the whole uptown hole in the city now. Is that what it is? That's yeah. West Philly for real. Yeah, I fuck with West got some. West got some. West, that's West Philly holding everybody down, you mean? All right. West Philly. Fuck this list. I'm going to read it real fast. Tampa, Queens, Cleveland, Miami, Boston, Santa Monica, Manhattan. I don't believe that. So in the bitty, right? In the city. Mm-hmm. I seen niggas on Twitter talking about, you know, uh, when Sexy Red Photo came up with a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. It was like, stop Philly, West Philly, da, da, da. This is the official rankings of the baddest bitches in Philadelphia from who you're probably going to call two ugly fat niggas. So let me get that out the way. I'm fine with that. Um, this is just based upon our, based upon. Based upon, for sure. funny. Based this is upon. based upon our experience in the city, mm-hmm. and I'm not saying that none of y'all are ugly, but this is who I've seen the most supreme clientele come from. Now, if we're gonna be doing this ranking, right? Does everything go into it? So yes. are we just doing looks, physic, physicality? Like we mix we, it, we, we like, doing looks mixed with personality and physicality? Oh, well, the nigga, one. yeah. Then all right, that's that's. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to go. We got yep. what, uh, what parts of the city we got? We got West Philly, South Philly, North Philly, Southwest, Northeast, and Uptown. Northeast is crazy. But it's a part. It is a part of Philly. It is. So I'm going to put I'm gonna put Northeast at the end of the list. That's very last. <laughs> Nobody knows anybody else. All right. There. Then I'm going to put Southwest right behind it. I'm going to put Southwest. I don't, Are you putting Southwest right behind there? Yeah, I'm putting Southwest. Why? There. I just don't see it for Southwest. I don't think. Um, yeah, because people even move from Southwest to a different part of Philly. Exactly. Like they don't even stay there. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put. So we got North South East, Philly. South Philly. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this is where I'm yeah, from. South, I'm gonna South put Philly. South Philly after that. After Southwest. <sighs> so now we got North, West, and, and, and North, uptown. West, and Uptown is le- is left. Yeah, so I'm gonna go North right after that. Ah, I might argue with you, but okay. Then I'm gonna go West. Oh, nigga, no, 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 your top three is off. Uptown and West got some of the, some of the most Supreme uh, clientele. They do. Yeah, I got but it. But I'm, I'm, my list is going to be Uptown, North, and then West. Only because <sighs> ain't nobody West ever West. hold a nigga down like a North Philly chick. Also, North Philly women got really good personalities once you do. get underneath that first layer. Yeah, true. That first layer for sure is, is... 100 percent 
yeah, Samuel Jackson of- roughness. But once you get up under that joint, like, yeah, I, I get it. The layer of a the top it's layer a of a layer, of a of a North Philly chick it's a tough layer, is bro. a tough layer. But once you get past that unk skin, yes. like once you get past that, definitely unk, she, unk skin. That, unk for skin, yeah, thousand for sure. percent sure. So you got North, you got North type skin, West and up top. I got North West. No North. I got up top North and, and West. West. Okay. Because I feel like once you get because. Let's just keep it a beam. Yeah. Uh, up top shorties, they cool, but they don't really, they don't, they not really like thorough like that. Like they had. not, they not holding it down for real, for real. I had West. I had up, I had. Yeah, up top number one, then West, West, then North. Yeah, I'm gonna say that, but I, honestly, West and up top is battling for me because West Philly got some gems out of they there. They do. Not and they stay bullshit. in the house. And they be in the house. They you, be in the house. And you don't see them. You don't really catch them. West the one, one time they they only pop out like three times a year, but when they yeah. do pop out, you gotta catch them. Yeah, and grip it's one like up. Pokemon. You, you gotta, gotta grab her. You gotta get one pregnant. You That's gotta crazy. catch her and take her off the market. You gotta here. grab her and you gotta get her up out of there. You, know, you gotta make sure she's solid. Up top, up top though, is, uh, up top got some heavy sleepers though. They solid. They cool. Up top got some heavy sleepers. They cool, but Are I just doing? feel like a I feel like a up top shorty will really line you a little bit. She like would. she really might be on some nut ass shit, and her pop really make a lot of money, but she she don't like that nigga a little bit. Like she kind everything is in disdain of her father. Like she trying she trying to make her dad mad, so she dealing with a nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like she rebelling. Yeah, like yeah. I feel like that's the only reason why. Like she really could be fucking with like an oil miner or some shit like that. But instead, she want to be dealing with a a nigga like me that don't got his shit together because yeah. she trying to make her dad upset. Uptown women is man, they something else. But then I the reason why I put North on my top three, yeah. Is because North Philly so huge. It that is. You just got such a pull to pull from. It's a lot of. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, it's a lot that job. you. Can. You know, voicemail. Yeah, what? Well, but so so to break down the parts of Philly, y'all, for you people that's not here. Uh, uh, excuse me. Up top got like it's quote unquote, and I'm just giving out the stereotypes. It's like the boozy chicks, right? Mm-hmm. What's Philly like? Quasi boozy because it's uptown in Philly. It's like pretty much going into like the suburbs, but it's not the suburbs. Yes. If that makes sense. West Philly is is the trenches, but it got some it got some gems in there. There's some gems over there. North is the trenches, but it's a lot of diamonds in there rough. South Philly, I love my I love where I'm from. But there's it, a reason why far and few in between. But it, they got some why. though. They they cool. Yeah. They there. They North, there. Northeast. They gonna hate us for this, but know. they there. I can't North, even. I don't know anybody. If you want to Puerto Rican or something, I don't know. You forgot Southwest. Southwest. I, I out never dealt with a shorty. Southwest is out the picture, out the picture for me, which is funny because it's probably close to where we. You know. It's probably the closest where we. But reside. Southwest don't get no love out of me. I love y'all though. All black women, I love y'all. But Southwest don't get mm-hmm. no tick at all. Yeah. Honorable mention though, Delco. Honorable mention. I would have thought Jersey would have been in them. <laughs> no, because it's not in PA. <laughs> Camden, they be trying to claim it. You yeah, know, brother, stop. Delco got some gems. I feel it, like I feel like some county Jones. I feel like the Jones in Jersey might even be closer than Delco. They so far out. That's a fact. They so far. Delaware County is just so fucking. That's another world. Who more Philly than than between Delco and Camden? <laughs> Camden. Camden. Camden is way more Camden Philly is than more Delco. Philly than Delco. Absolutely. Delco more like they so funny. Yeah, they they kinda I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they be know, they bro. they out there doing whatever the fuck they 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 probably wear their clothes backwards and call it a trend type shit. Yeah. They just, nobody yeah, is knows. it you know, it's funny, somebody gonna say we missed some part of Philly because they call shit like Brick, yeah. Brickyard and, Yeah and If you That's, that's like you the call sub your shit genres yeah. yeah Oh I'm from Alney That's not North Yes yeah. you are from it's North pretty, Philly pretty much North Philly what, they, what else they got Nice Town Uptown Nice Town German Town German Town Which is Uptown Literally it's all the same thing It's all the same uh, shit uh, what do, West Oakland That's Uptown That's literally Uptown East Oakland Uptown East Oakland Show him all that shit. Uptown Oh you can claim And show him is Uptown Yeah yes. I mean once you cross over Then you in like then you just up Chester there. Hill and shit, but yeah. Other than and that, and then after that, you got like where you could best find your, you know, those type of shorties at. And honestly, like, like, like for a West Philly John, that Target on City F, 
Come on now. That's they shit. You go in there at a respectable time of the day on no, like they, a Friday they got at like five players. p.m. Yeah, they got the deuce plaza though. What's happening on the deuce with plaza? the lows in it, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody be in that joint, bro. No, with the lows in the Planet Fitness. No, bro, not even a little bit. No. How the uh, how the gym been going? Have you been going? Um. So this past week I went three times. In the past week I've went three times. I'm trying to like ramp it up a little bit, but where's your Apple Watch? I don't wear it like that. Why not? Cause I, yo, I started wearing that joint, and then I was like, honestly, what's the difference? What I'm doing, just counting shit on there. It's like an accountability partner. I'm holding myself accountable. I'm a real nigga. Get in it. We got, we got some. We got. I also could not find my charger for a while, and then I found it, it and I just was like, but for the most part, honestly, I'm holding myself accountable, nigga. Yeah, we in challenges though, which helps out a lot. Yeah, who you want to challenge with? Marquise Kenyatta and like random people Marquise got in there. Well, actually, no, uh, his, wife, doing, his wife is in there. Charlotte. And then his sister, but then he he has like other people that I'm not aware random of. like workers and people that work with. <laughs> so I was on stunt podcast. I love Marquise to death. Um, I was talking about the story in New Orleans where we got into a fight. Oh, yeah. The real the real fight, huh? I'll keep it PG here because I don't know how many people are going to hear this. But I was I called Antoine and them and Kawan them to confirm my story. Yeah. They, they seen it a different way or they seen no, it? No, it's like on a, video. Oh, all right, okay. So yeah, then so. it don't even. But no, no, you know how you just nigga, you niggas be talking about mixing, and you just like, oh nigga, you probably wasn't. Yeah, I was getting like, on my man. Brother. I was on that nigga. Are you was fighting? Him? Yeah, I was getting that nigga. I put him on the on the on the your mean. But he also he be chilling, bro. No, he doesn't. What you mean? I love Marquise. He don't be chilling though. Hey, Marquise, he's watch. He watches this. Yeah, he be chilling though. Like he not gonna be the type to like jump out and wild yes, the does. fuck out. He be wilding. You haven't really been my, around drunk Marquise. He be chilling. No. Mm. He don't go as far as Antoine. I love Antoine. Antoine, yeah. Antoine be Tom. But be, um, but he, he right there. You be like, bro. He's getting his. Fuck? He getting his bag, but he don't ever draw it though. Like he not like a drawing <laughs> ass. Yeah. Fuck the vibe up person. No, I'm talking about like it being like a vicious person. Like uh, he not vicious. He not a vicious person. No. Not he, when he get drunk. He got no. vicious mouth though. Pause. Yeah, yo. Yeah, he do. Your man just said you got a vicious he mouth. Could, he do got a vicious mouth, though, bro. Keith, if you're watching he this, he just said you got a vicious mouth, brother. What time is my game, bro? Hold you on. done told them motherfuckers. He was out of here at 320. He was like, I'm leaving at 320. It's three. On oh, my game at six. If I get up, got to get up to there at. Let me look up the maps real quick. That's an hour, so that's four. And I got to get back to, uh, to, to the John. So that's an hour. That's another hour. That's, that's like 545. Six o'clock. If you leave now, you might be getting there just on time for real. For real. Well, let me see. If you keep it at the with you, how far is it? From? Oh, and it's rush hour tra- traffic hit. Yeah, it might be a, my best bet to. Uh... No allows has COVID. Man, kiss my ass, bro. Oh, yeah, I got. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the time that picked up. For, for, yeah, okay. Because I'm thinking going up there and. Okay, yeah. Have it readily available when I get there. You yeah. feel me? All right. Yeah, we going to roll. Um, we love y'all. This Sorry is a shorter short episode. Part. Yesterday, we did two hours and five minutes. And Don't tell them know. about something that they never going to get. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yo, we love y'all. And uh, Listen. Thank you for sticking. We going we gonna to be on time. Um, coming up, we going to get we getting back organized and shit. Niggas really been busy. Um, mm. but we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. You got anything you want to say to them? I have nothing to say. All I'm going to say is... But but they <laughs> freed the realists. Yeah, man. Vibes cartel. Well, you was just saying fuck because yesterday. Yeah, I, said that. I mean, it's a, that never happened, right? All right, baby, you're true. Yeah, Yo, baby. It's my fucking late night with Lar and Lionel. We out this bitch. You know you're, like, you're, like, you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah.